Hey, what's up, ladies and gentle tubers? It's Tyler. Welcome back to the Everide channel and to the Moto Mansion here in St. George. Um, I've had a lot of people asking questions about how do I load all of my gear, all of my tools, all of my filming equipment, um, and water and everything else you need for safety. I've gotten so many requests that I decided to make a video about it, and this is that video. Um, so as you can see, I'm kind of loaded down. I don't know if you can... There's the back of me. In this kit, I have all of the tools that uh, I've ever had to use on the trail. All of my filming gear, including a drone, uh, extra batteries, a big uh, DSLR camera. It's actually not a DSLR, it's a mirrorless, but it's still pretty big. All kinds of water, um, a little bit of food, I think, first aid, everything. My guess is this uh, rig probably weighs somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 pounds. And so whenever you're watching a video and you're like, man, Everide is super slow, um, just remember, I'm packing around 40 pounds of stuff. But it honestly, it doesn't feel like 40 pounds because of this nice uh, OGO vest. People also ask, why don't you put this stuff on your motorcycles? Well, it's because I tend to change motorcycles a lot, depending on the type of tour that I'm doing or the type of filming that I'm doing. You know, I just like to have everything on, on my body, really. Um, that way, when I'm riding without it, if it's like training with a, with a weight belt or with a, one of those big medicine balls where once you don't have that weight, it feels amazing. Um, let's get started. I'm actually going to put you on the hat camera uh, so that... Oh, here we are. I see you can, you can see me with a hat camera. Look at that. I look like such a nerd. <laughs> That's a good thing. I'm not paid to look good. This, this is going to be a, a little mirror, a little sticker mirror. You can see it's pretty decked out uh, that we're going to hang up right here in the Moto Mansion. Um, but I, would, I decided to lean it up like this before we get it hung up so that you can see me take this stuff off. Uh, so this is this camera. This is what I usually take off first. Now here's why I have the camera right in front right here. Is so when we're riding, I can quickly bust that out and I've got a camera ready to go. And this, this is the FZ1000 and it is such an awesome camera. I absolutely love it. Uh, it's got a fantastic zoom, uh, a 20x zoom. A really good lens. It shoots 4K at 30 frames per second. It shoots 1080 at 120 frames per second. This has really been a great camera. And I have put it through a lot, and it just keeps ticking. It, uh, I mean, I've, again, I fell right on it, broke my sternum, the camera was fine. Uh, that just goes down in there like that. I zip it out. Now, the reason why I want cameras on my chest is, again, to get it out real fast, uh, because a lot of the times I'll race ahead, as fast as I can, sometimes I don't make it. <laughs> but sometimes I can get a, a far enough ahead of the group that I can stop, turn the motorcycle sideways, quickly pull this out, and actually get a shot of people coming through. I do keep the strap on it just for, you know, in case we are hiking around or something like that. Uh, also, it's got these cool carabiners. So this is how I attach it to this OGO vest. Again, the vest has a nice little loop right here. Right here, it doesn't. I wish that it had more loops. And so what I've done is I've put a... A carabiner up there. Look at how I'm contorting for you. What, look at this pose. <laughs> what a nice pose. So I've got this car carabiner up there, a uh, little Garmin carabiner, and something that is missing from this kit that is vitally important that I decided uh, was pretty critical um, after the whole shenanigans with the Royal Enfield and the KLR and almost um, getting stuck out in the woods with no water or food or communication of any way. Anyway, I decided to get um, a Garmin inReach and that straps right here on my shoulder. That way I can access it with both hands. I hate the clip that comes with it. Whoever engineered that clip needs to be fired. Anyway, um, my friend Al's got that. He, he borrowed it the other day and uh, accidentally took it up to Canada. So um, anyway, if I don't want to take that big rig camera, uh, I actually have a camera in here. This is like the FZ1000's little brother. This is the ZS60. Um, but it basically, it'll do 4K at 30, it'll do 60 frames per second. It's a cool camera, pretty rugged, it's been, it's been pretty, uh, pretty good. But, you know what, I like that one much better. Um, however, this one for like shred rides, or if I just want to keep the weight down, um, I will use this one. And uh, it just fits nicely in here. And as you can see, I've also got a garbage bag in there. Yeah, maybe you can see better here. This is just a standard kitchen garbage bag. Why do you carry a garbage bag, Tyler? Well, because sometimes you can pick up garbage with that and keep the trails clean. Uh, it can be good waterproofing for your gear if you need it or to put over yourself, punch some holes through. Now in these pockets, um, let's open these up. So here I've got some Tylenol PM, not psych. 
inside is actually drugs. No, just kidding. Uh, there's a piece of cotton in there, but inside there is just some, just a few, like four or five bolts and nuts that just are common on a lot of motorcycles in case something rattles out, you know, in case you're riding with a KLR. <laughs> Uh, the next thing in that pocket is, oh look, a, a clip from my brakes. Um, I actually broke my brake cal caliper off the last ride, so I kept some of the parts with me, um, and I used this tool. So let me throw this back in here. So this is a cool little thing. It's a tusk, um, it's just a little tusk T-handle, T-handle wrench uh, from Rocky Mountain ATV MC, and uh, it's really nice because you can, you can kind of do this, and it folds away really nice. Um, and then you got a good like T-handle grip on it. As you can see, I've rolled some duct tape around it because you don't need to be ta packing a whole roll of duct tape out there. And also a roll of electrical tape. And this comes in super handy. Uh, and you know, you just pull the, pull the ends off there. Uh, and I keep a high powered magnet in this pocket as well. And what that does, well, uh, what that does is it just kind of keeps everything sorted and together and it doesn't rattle around. And that way if I open it, you know, the whole chunk falls out and it's easy to see instead of losing one little, one little thing. Um, okay, next pocket, this one. If your zippers ever start working on something like this, you can get uh, silicon lubricant and it actually works really, really good on zippers. Uh, in here I have some flat repair implements, basically just some CO2 cartridges and a little tusk uh, flat repair thing. Uh, and a little mini tripod, just in case, I, I don't know, that probably shouldn't be in there actually. Yeah, I probably ought to lube, lube these up. Um, okay, these are the two, these are some beefy pockets here, uh, and they've got a lot of stuff in them. Um, a light, this thing is like two bucks at Walmart, and uh, a light would have been really nice for um, where we got stranded. Uh, I've got um, the uh, Sawyer squeeze system with a water filter right here. That has uh, saved my butt before, as you might have seen. Uh, I have a green chili adventure gear, um, just a strap right here, and then I have the cam right here, the cam buckle. Uh, this is useful for towing things. It's useful if you need to strap something down onto your bike. You can kind of go around things. Uh, and then, uh, ooh, some receipts and some Mmm, Stretch Island Fruit Strips. Nice. Uh, and other than that, we have our uh, uh, 5 by 7 camper's tarp, like from Walmart. And uh, this can come in handy if you're stuck outside and something's messed up. You got a broken bike, you got a broken bone, and uh, you need to set up some shade. Really helpful in my situation. You can also make a little tent, uh, a stretcher. You can do all kinds of stuff with a little tarp. That's Ron Swanson approved, so I've got it. Oh, and why do I put the tarp on the back towards my gut? Because I don't want anything um, going into my guts right here. So whatever you have, if you're gonna use a vest like this, whatever you have that's soft that you can put between your body and the tools, do that. That's why there's a garbage bag in here. Um, in here, there's not really a whole lot. But uh, yeah, in these big pockets, I definitely don't want things going up in my guts. Up here, I actually wear armor that comes up like this. Um, that kind of saves my chest. In these three pockets here, uh, we have a, a uh, SOG multi-tool. It's just a standard multi-tool. You know, it's got pliers and knives and stuff. Honestly, I mainly use it for the screwdriver. Uh, but if the poop hit the fan, um, this is a good thing to have. This is a Fisher Space Pen. Uh, right there because hey if communication goes down somehow if there's some some kind of a problem uh, you can you know use a receipt or a wrapper or something like that and you can use this to write a note uh, and put it on a tree or something like that you know that's just this thing weighs nothing and so I figure hey I might as well have a pen with me this is probably uh, unnecessary <sighs> and it is very dusty um, this is just a, a uh, you know it's just it's just one of these <laughs> X key set. It's big and it's bulky and it's heavy and uh, you know what? It comes in really handy because most stuff that falls off has a hex key. This is a little stubby wrench. Oh my gosh, it's covered with dust. Little stubby wrench. Um, just a cheap husky one. Uh, the th nice thing about this though is it will open up wide enough uh, for you know your uh, axle bolt on the rear of a DRZ or most motorcycles. 
And uh, yeah, it's not a full length. It's, it's, uh, it's hard to get a lot of leverage on this little guy, but I mean, I'm not gonna carry around a big, huge one. And this is heavy enough, but it has saved the day quite a few times. Now for this pocket. Um, here we've just got documentation um, for the motorcycles and, oh yeah, baby wipes. Very useful stuff, baby wipes. Um, not just for pooping, actually. Uh, baby wipes are great for cleaning your hands off after fixing a bike. They're great for wiping a wound. They're just nice to have. It's nice to have something moist. Oh, I forgot to put these things back. Okay, <clears throat> uh, now for this cool, super hip and trendy fanny pack. Uh, it holds two of these water bottles. People also ask, why don't you use just a regular like hydration backpack with a hose? Well, I like to just wear something like this um, that I can get to real quick. I can squirt it through uh, over my uh, chin bar or I can remove my helmet and just gulp a whole lot. That's, that's how I do things, but these are nice. Uh, up here in the front, I usually keep my wallet in there. Um, now you can rob me. Uh, and then I keep my phone in here and it's nice and padded. And that way, you know, you're getting gas, you need to use your phone, you need to do something like that. They're quick and easy and you got them like right away with gloves. Uh, it's really easy to get those things. And then in here, we're gonna go over this a little more in a little more detail, uh, but uh, first aid kit. I'm gonna put this on the table. There you go. And we will unclip this and put this right here. And we will unclip this and put it up here. And you're probably wondering what's in the back pockets, the back of this thing. This is where the magic happens. Um, also, you probably might be wondering what's in the rest of your camera gear. I've got chargers, extra batteries. I'm not gonna bore you. There's just extra batteries in this too for my cameras, okay? Um, so that's that. In here we have other implements that are big. Uh, a big thing of water. Again, saves my butt. And I don't wanna go digging into here really because it's kind of uh, explosive. Not really, it's just zip ties actually, um, but they will come out. And then there is a bead buddy, but yeah, throw that back in there. So this is just like auxiliary water um, because I will go, oh, thank you for your support and love. Please welcome yourself to the cupboards of fridge, breakfast food, blah, blah, blah. My wife is so great. She like operates the whole moto mansion. Uh, spare 21 inch tube, um, some uh, Motion Pro Bead Pros, these things are awesome, and a trail jack given to me by, by, by my friend uh, John B, who I won't say his last name because he might be undercover right now. Again, uh, why am I putting the spoons on the outside? Because this is padding uh, towards my back. So that's it for those two pockets. Now here's where the magic really happens. Um, here we've got a DJI Mavic Pro remote in there. We've got two spare batteries that sit on the side of the remote like this while they're in there. And now I try to, you know, I try to have things multitask in here. Uh, so I've got uh, a SAM splint, which uh, my EMT friend said these are basically useless, but I'm gonna keep it with me anyway, because it makes a nice little storage area for my uh, DJI Mavic Pro. So it doesn't get bashed around. So that's pretty cool. Um, I love this thing, you guys. Like this thing, it is my favorite piece of equipment. So awesome. Um, so yeah, that's in there. And then, then there is nothing else in the bottom. Sometimes I'll keep some documentation in here, but right now there is no documentation in that pocket. It's just empty. You can't really put much in this pocket anyway, um, I've found, especially when the Mavic is taking up a lot of room in this water bladder pocket. Now this is a water bladder pocket, but since I don't use water bladders, that's what I use those for. Now let's finalize with the first aid kit. Um, this is an important thing to have for obvious reasons. I've got a couple of chem lights, uh, space blanket, gloves, and then just like band-aids, knickknacks. Uh, here's some instant cold pack, gauze, tongue depressors, but honestly, splints for fingers. Uh, a little bit of moleskin, first aid guide, um, antiseptic, and uh, some Lou Ferrigno bleeding stuff. Is this stuff any good? I picked it up at like Walmart. 
and uh, hopefully it's decent. Again, bandages, um, some tape, uh, burn gel. That's probably pretty useful. And these uh, tiny scissors, they look pretty crappy, honestly. I might need to get some new scissors. Anyway, that is what's in my first aid kit, but this is a uh, key right here. In here we have uh, super glue. Now that's multi-use, and uh, but that is really good stuff for uh, basically doing some field stitches. In here we have it taped around because this stuff is crazy. Um, this is 100% pure cocaine. No, just kidding. It's gold bond <laughs> for if you get a flat tire and you need some uh, powdery tire lube. And there's also other uses for this as well um, to put on chafing or anything like that. Uh, in here, this is where we actually have the drugs. Um, we've got some uh, baggie in there. But this is uh, some prescription painkillers. And this is some bare back and body, which I have heard people swear by. It is like the most gnarly stuff that you can get without a prescription here in the States. And so I figure, hey, we might as well have some bare back and body works <laughs> and some stuff there. This little thing is a miniature burrito. Uh, no, just kidding. Um, that would be a cute little burrito, though. Oh, it smells so bad. I hate the smell of this stuff. This is um, steel stick. Actually, this is the water weld, JB water weld. I figure you only need a little brick of it. You don't need a whole, you know, the whole stick of it. And so I just keep it in here. This is a little uh, travel soap thing just from like Walmart. And uh, that just all fits in there like that. Nice and self-contained. Um, that's it though, guys. Um, pretty rad. So uh, if you need any of that stuff, it is on Amazon. Can you see my face? Do you need, to, do you want to see my face? You probably don't want to see my face. Let me just do this. Um, now you can see my hair, my hat hair. Hat cam hammer hair. I don't know, never mind. Uh, if you need to get any of this stuff, I think pretty much everything can be found at like Walmart. <clears throat> uh, and everything can be found on Amazon. Amazon.com slash shop slash Everride. Also guys, uh, I'm making some new shirts. This one is the Flox Racing shirt. I hope you get that. Uh, it's nothing against Fox. It's just, I thought that would be funny. You can see a little sheep on there. I think it's awesome. I've also done some other little shirts on there, like some Nintendo things. They're kind of like, I'm a nerd who dual sports because I'm a nerd who dual sports. Anyway, guys, um, these are also on my Amazon page, as is everything else uh, and all the other things that I recommend. I will do another video on my bike very soon. Much love, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and um, we'll see you in another video. Have a ride out.